Hello everyone and welcome down the Bitcoin rabbit hole. I'm Roxy and today we're going to figure out how to reset your hardware wallet using a Trader Model 1. So two scenarios, either you have a private key in front of you and you just bought a new device because you want to recover that money for either you, one of your family, friends, something that happened. Or second scenario, you just bought one, you set it up and now you want to reset it so you can practice the recovery process. And both options are great and it's basically the same steps. So let's go. Warning, falling down the Bitcoin rabbit hole brings freedom. We are already plugged in, we are within the wallet interface and now I'm gonna wipe out the device to recreate it. So we're gonna go to my trader or whatever name you've put it. We're gonna go to advance and at the bottom you have wipe device. So we're gonna press that. We're gonna confirm and that's it. The wallet is emptied. It's not emptied because the Bitcoin never moved but like that device here is empty now. We can unplug it and we can replug it. We now have two options, either create a new wallet or recover. We already saw how to create a new wallet, it's not what we want, so check that video if that's what you want. Uh, if not, we're going to press recover wallet. It is a 24 words mnemonic seed, so a private key of 24 words that we've set up, so we go continue. And we didn't choose any passphrase, that is an advanced uh, level of security, it's not yet. And here we go, they ask if we are sure, yes we are, and now they're going to ask for the fifth word. See, on the device, they're going to ask for a specific word. So we're going to look at the private key that we had stored in a folder that we went and picked up again. And we're going to type down on the computer the fifth word, uh, which is going to be gap for our case. And then they are going to ask for the second one. And the second one is despair. And I'm going to be doing that for all 24 words. Let's go. And here we go, it's done. So the wallet is fully recovered. If I had any found, any transaction, any Bitcoin, it will show here. Uh, I don't have any, obviously, because this wallet is a fake one, it's used for the tutorial, so I don't have any wallet, I'm not any money. But if you had anything, it would be here. We now have to set up the pin, so the device doesn't stay unprotected. We're gonna use the same pin as before, simply because it's already here. So why, if it's not compromised, would you use another pin? You probably remember it, you've learned it, so... I mean, you can change, it doesn't really matter, it's really a detail at that point. We are good and I do not want to put any name. So that's it, we've recorded the money. Using the private key, which is just a list of 24 words, we've recovered the money. That means that if I learn those 24 words by heart, I can have access to my money anywhere in the world. If I travel with that piece of paper, I have access to the money anywhere in the world. It's really powerful. And uh, that's it, we've done it. Uh, I would highly recommend you, if uh, you do recover a wallet, that you move your found to a new wallet uh, quickly after. Uh, simply because it's not as secure as it is used to now that you've kind of recovered it on your computer. Uh, it's probably better that you just recreate a new wallet entirely and move those phones away. Uh, it is not mandatory, but if you want to do like everything correctly, you should probably do it. It's also going to increase your privacy. You can just mix it at the way. Uh, it's, it's just better to do so. But anyway, that is basically it. That's how you recover from a Trader Model 1 using the private key. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a quick one, uh, but it's part of the whole uh, Ledger uh, Trader tutorial. I'm Roxy. I will see you up next week. Please keep those private keys secured. And if you need any help about Bitcoin, just visit my website, thebitcoinrabbithole.com. See you. Bye-bye.